Good morning everyone and welcome to Scotland. So this morning I'm here in the Cairngorms National Park hoping to photograph today the white hares, well the mountain hares that hopefully have all turned white now that winter has arrived. So we're in a place called the Raptor Valley. Um, already seen a big herd of deer up on the hillside. We've got a couple of kestrels hovering here in over the river and with any luck today we'll also get to see the golden eagle. Now they do fly up and down this valley and they are seen probably 50% of the time you've got a good chance of seeing the eagles in the valley so we're looking forward to that but we're going to be making our way over to these hills here behind me and getting down and hopefully getting some of the uh, the hares in the uh, the snow line. Now it is very cold this morning, it's about minus six, um, so we're going to be wrapping up very warm. Um, but no, absolutely beautiful weather, couldn't ask for a better day. Um, going to be like this again tomorrow when we're going up into the quarries to hopefully photograph some ptarmigan. Uh, we're here for the week, so I'm hoping for an absolutely wild week of photography and capturing just about everything. So follow me this week as I photograph the wildlife here in the Cairngorms of Scotland. Just come across a hare, just sitting here on the side of the hill. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, the, the way it's camouflaged into the hillside, it is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, if you sort of look at the way the ground is at the moment with just like a hoarfrost on it um, and, and not much snow. So it's sort of like, uh, like a camouflage sort of color. Um, the hair matches that perfectly, absolutely perfectly. And, you know, you could be taking a picture and then turn away and, and look at something else and then turn back round. And, you, and you've got to find it again because it, it just blends in like you wouldn't believe. But no, been out, what, 15 minutes and already found our first mountain hare. Absolutely amazing. Um, but anyway, let's carry on and see what else we can find. Uh, hopefully, we might get an eagle flying overhead. We had a buzzard earlier. Um, but yeah. The sun's still going to make its way over the top of these hills, but it's on the hill over there behind me. What I'll do is I'll spin the camera around um, and just show you what this valley looks like. What a place. Okay, so we made it up to the top of the ridge now. Um, bit of a hard slog, not seen much. Saw another two or three hares, uh, but they were quite far away. Um, but the weather is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful, clear blue skies. I just came over the ridge here and there is literally a herd of deer over here. And no word of a lie, maybe a hundred, hundred red deer in this valley absolutely incredible to see um, i've took a couple of pictures but looking back now there's even more than there was when i was taking the picture so i'm going to get my camera out in fact i'm going to do it now because i don't want to miss that opportunity that is a sight to behold Absolutely stunning. Oh, nowhere in the world quite like it really is there in Scotland. It's just a complete 
sort of wilderness unto its own. And it's a bit like Yorkshire. You go to Yorkshire and it's it's a completely different um, wilderness again. Um, this this is just this is incredible. Still on the lookout for hares. Not seen too many of them. Uh, it's a real shame. I think they're going, I think they'll lower down. Uh, not seen any ptarmigans or snow buntings either. But it's I have no idea what time it is. Quarter to eleven. So yeah, time's ticking on. Might make it to the top of this hill and see what's up there. But uh, no, just seeing these deer. What a fantastic sight! Absolutely fantastic. I'm not cold anymore either after climbing up that hill. Do a drink of water and uh, a snack, I think. So I'm going to get that out and just sit and watch these deer. How amazing! How lucky! Beautiful. What a what a place to be. Anyway, get a drink. away from me it took me about 20 minutes to to make my way very slowly up to the hair in this uh, very cold and wet heather but absolutely fantastic the hair can see me I can see it we're both being very polite to one another giving it plenty of space sort of settling in and I'm not moving and I'm just waiting five or ten minutes and then I'll move again and just wait for the hair just to relax and be not to be spooked by my presence um, and then I may just move a couple of more feet gradually up to the hair and just got some fabulous images and a bit of video of the hair um, it is just just beautiful and this one's a lot whiter than the first one I photographed but I saw this one on the way in from the path over there, so I've made my way down and across onto this side of the hill. I'm hoping that the hare would still be here, and it is. And it was uh, quite happy just for me to very slowly and crawl on my belly towards it. What a fabulous experience. What a fabulous experience. And it's just, just moments like these that, that make it all worthwhile. You know, I'm here in the middle of the, the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere, photographing a mountain hare. Just me and the hare. Truly beautiful. Anyway, let's go see if we can find this eagle. <laughs> but. Uh, just a couple more pictures, eh?
Sync the audio, sync the audio. Bring that ISO up a bit. That's better. Hi everyone and welcome to day two. Um, what a fantastic morning it is this morning. So we're up here this morning in the Corries in the Kaogorman Ski Centre. So we've got all the ski lifts over here to my left. Um, stunning view here behind me with that cloud base down in the valley. Absolutely stunning. Um, so it just took about a half an hour walk up here to this plateau. So hopefully going to see some snow bunting and ptarmigans, um, but you can never guarantee anything, can you? So fingers crossed for that. But in saying that, managed to see a black grouse this morning. Um, absolutely fantastic, very low light, but still got the picture, still got a bit of video. So really happy with that. Um, as the day goes on, it's going to get a lot brighter, going to get a sort of lot of reflection coming off the snow with the, uh, the sun glaring off it, uh, which leads me into today's sponsor, which is KF Concept. Now, in a previous video of mine, I was talking about um, shooting video. Uh, when you're shooting at 24 frames a second, you're shooting at 1 50th, and because of the slow shutter speed, um, you're... Um, you're gonna to have to increase your aperture. You're gonna to have to be shooting at F20, F22 sometimes, and it just doesn't make for, for good quality really shooting at such a high aperture. So I've mentioned that you're best using filters. Now, since then, KF Concept have reached out to me and have sent me a kit of their magnetic um, filters. So I've currently got this kit here, which is the Nano Magnetic Series filters. Now this comes with the graduated ND8, an ND8, an ND64, and an ND1000. Now these fit my uh, 100 to 500 RF lens, so it's a 77 millimeter thread. Um, they all come in a nice little pouch like this, and they're individually sectioned with inside the, the pouch. Now with these being magnetic, they actually fit to my camera lens very very easily so on here i have a magnetic ring i can just screw that and it's just a very very thin metal ring that screws onto here that then enables me to take the filter and literally a blink of an eye throw it onto the front of my camera Just like that and it's on and it's not going anywhere so now i can reduce my aperture and take really good quality images because i've stopped down the light um, take it off as quick as that back on back off now on my tripod which i'll demonstrate um, in a minute that i have actually added some magnets to my tripod so i can just take this off stick this onto the side of my tripod and carry on shooting into photo mode. Um, a little tip that you may or may not know that when you're shooting out in the cold weather like this, um, like I was yesterday, I noticed it yesterday actually, I was shooting the, the mountain hares yesterday and whilst photographing I got this heat haze and I thought how am I getting sort of that heat haze through um, such a cold landscape and that is because when you have your lens cap on, your lens, take that off. When you have your lens hood on, there is warm air caught within your lens hood. So when you're looking through here, you're actually looking through this very, very tiny amount of warm air that's captured within the lens hood. So by taking your lens hood off, you can eliminate any heat haze that you may see when photographing or videoing and you've just got clean, crisp, cold air between you and your lens and don't have that 
gap of could be anything from just a couple of inches to you know depending on the size of your lens up to six inches of depth of warm air caught within your lens hood so yeah just a little tip there if you see uh, a bit of warm air shooting on a cold day take your lens hood off and that should then disappear uh, right anyway i'm going to carry on see if i can find some wildlife uh, it's such a beautiful day such a beautiful day and i'll demonstrate uh, using some of these filters throughout the rest of this video but for now i'm going to carry on So I don't know if you can see, but we've got ptarmigan tracks here. And we can see where it's, it's been sat in the snow. Um, but these are, these are all frozen. So that's probably yesterday or a different day. Sync the audio, sync the audio. Wow, amazing guys. Well, I made it up uh, this ridge where I did a bit of research and sort of was told or found out that if you get up onto the ridge, you have a chance of seeing the ptarmigans. And lo and behold, I found some tracks in the snow, some fresh tracks, um, and then I followed those up onto the ridge. And there was a ptarmigan sitting right in front of me. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Couldn't believe it. What a day. Black grouse, ptarmigan. Whoo. And it's not so much about just ticking them off, it's it's being able to see them and sit with them. Uh, it's just fantastic, especially out here in this vast open space, the Cairngorms. It truly is just, just fantastic. Um, and seeing these, these birds and animals Lots of climbers around, all heading up to the corriers here behind me. Um, yeah, been a while since I've done some ice climbing. I did that, I have been up here a couple of times. Um, I actually brought my wife on a, on a winter skills climbing course as well. Um, I think she enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, no, but the uh, sun's just tipping the tops of the mountains now. Um, I'm going to have a little scout about before making my way back down um, and then I think we're going to head back over to the Valley of Raptors this afternoon. Um, but no, oh, what a fantastic day, what a fantastic morning and it is quarter past ten. And just listen to that. Okay, so we're in the Valley of Raptors now and on the drive in must have seen probably about half a dozen uh, buzzards um, but I have just seen a bird of prey up here. Um, I'm not sure what type of uh, bird it was. It looked like a kestrel but the way in which it was sort of was hovering didn't resemble a kestrel so I'm not entirely sure what sort of bird that was. Um, but my aim for the next hour or so is to hopefully video uh, some of these birds that are in this valley 
and you never know we may get lucky with a, a passing eagle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my camera set up um, so what i'm going to have to do is put on a filter for this because when i'm shooting at um, 150th at 24 frames per second and i'm shooting up towards the sky my current f-stop is about f16 on here which is just i want to be much lower if possible you know like at uh, the maximum um, range of this will be probably f7.1 so that's what i want to bring it down to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put on one of the uh the kf filters so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to try with the uh the eight stop first that's the eight stop so dead simple i can just pop it in there job done right let's see what that brings that down to now okay so that brings it down quite a bit so i'm currently shooting at f5.6 there at iso 100 at 150th of a second doing video at 24 frames per second and that is absolutely bang center my histogram is right in the middle that is that is absolutely superb obviously if i extend my reach a little bit and go to f7.1 i'm going to have to just bring my iso up probably to around 200 but that is that's nothing um, so i'm really happy with that so an nd8 filter Oops, what's that three stops of light um yes that's that's brilliant all i'll do now is be quiet and see if these birds fly past Just move round now, and I'll be some hair more or less head on. So these are just a pair of normal crampons, just walking crampons. Going to be things. Things are getting onto steep slopes. 